Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, we're going to be using these apple dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. Four freezer ends. Got a couple slices of Italian bread for my freezer ends today, toasted up and ready to go. Let's roll for our main. Eight ham. All right, it's been a little bit since we've gotten ham. Off to a pretty good start. Next up, let's roll for cheese. Three feta. This feta I have is pretty low moisture, so I wanted to see if my Norwegian cheese slicer worked okay with it. Gave me these nice thin little flakes rather than big crumbles that might fall off the sandwich. Not bad. Next up, let's roll for roughage. That's five cucumber and eight olives. With the addition of the cucumber, as well as the feta, this sandwich is starting to give me some Greek vibes. The cool crunch of the cucumber will be a nice counterpoint to the salty meat and cheese. We're gonna fully lean into those Greek vibes as much as we can here by using Kalamata olives. And they'll be right at home with that feta and cucumber. So far, we've got a really nice cohesive sandwich, but we've still got a few steps to get through. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. 16, pork floss. Well, if you've yet to catch an episode that's featured pork floss, it is a jerky-like product made by cooking down and then dehydrating pork until it becomes a shelf-stable jerky with an almost cotton candy-like texture. It's salty and just ever so sweet, and I think it should pair just fine here. It's a bit of a curveball, but not one that should ruin our day. Last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. Let's go. 13, red pepper jelly. This red pepper jelly is slightly sweet and savory and definitely works pretty well with meats like ham. It's also got this really beautiful color. Definitely not the worst thing we could have rolled. Let's go ahead and get our sandwich put together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. Let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. Well, here we are closing out another week of RFS and I've got pretty high hopes for this one. Let's give it a taste. All right, yeah, this one is pretty much as expected. The pork floss makes it a little dry. I would have hoped for a different sauce to kind of help with that. But the flavors are nice. Nothing groundbreaking here, but it's not a bad sandwich. And we definitely had a lot of cohesion going on between the olives and the cucumber and the feta. It's a pretty good sandwich. I'm going to give it a 7.1, and I'm going to call it Adonis's Boar. I'm at Confusion in Novi, Michigan all weekend, and I'm looking forward to meeting and talking with some of you. Everyone else, have a great weekend.